So I, I have two recipes for you, just like the Spanish rice recipe. Um, you there's the uh, quick, quick, quick. Gotta get, gotta feed those kids uh, method. And then there's the we have time. We can chill. We can relax. We can we can make this you know from totally from scratch. I'm not doing that recipe today. Today is going to be. Um, it is now 6.50 and I totally forgot that I need to make dinner because I was busy working. Okay, the first thing I'm going to make is the white sauce. This is a traditional um, creamy, milky sauce that helps cool down your mouth from all the spices we're going to be putting into the fish taco. And don't freak out when I tell you this, but it's equal amounts yogurt, um, usually a thick yogurt, Greek yogurt will work, and equal amounts mayonnaise. Yeah, and you just grab a tablespoon and you dunk and you can wipe it off and look it up. And um, equal amounts mayonnaise and you smush it together and that's what it is. Okay, I took some regular vegetable oil and I dumped it in um, a hot a pan. So I'm getting the oil hot. Remember I said we're gonna do this the easy, I ain't got time to futz way. Gordon's beer batter fish is what you want. Um, normally, if you're making a typical Baja fish tacos, you're going to want to use a good quality Mexican beer for your batter. Um, Modelo I, is one that I would recommend. But if you don't have time for that and the kids are hungry, um, Gordon's is your best friend. And this beer batter flavor it's, it's not close, but it's so much better than any of the other flavors that we've tried. And you really want the beer batter because it has that multi flavor to it. Um, and it's also a good, a light crunch without being so thick, covered, blah. So then while that's getting hot, again, you're not gonna use lettuce, you're going to use cabbage because lettuce, when it gets hot from the hot fish, will wilt. You want something that's gonna stand up to that. And um, if you don't have time to thinly slice a head of cabbage, you can chill. And then you're going to need corn tortillas. Um, flour, again, just is not going to hold up to the heat of this fish once it is fried. Then you're going to want salsa. And I gotta tell you what, this is from Aldi's. This is pretty good stuff. Um, it's, it's fresh, it has a nice big, uh, chunks but not too big is all the stuff you need in there we like it um shredded cheese you can get mexican cheese we don't think mexican cheese has flavor um and really cheddar is the way to go of course we have to have sriracha sauce yes this is the original um well, i mean other than tapatio but we found out that's hotter this is hotter. It's actually hotter than tapatio, yes. Oh, awesome. Okay, yes, it's also uh, hotter than tapatio. Don't worry about the hot because you have the white sauce to cool it down, okay? Um, so that's basically the basic recipe. And yes, this will feed a family of um, four. And I have big men that I have to feed. Massive. Massive, <laughs> massive men that I have to feed and they love this. Woo! Okay, so now I have my tortilla, right? And I'm gonna take my white sauce that I made earlier. And, oh, <sighs> restaurant man is gonna get mad at me if I make these wrong. Okay, so you take a fish stick and- Wait, it's a filet. I'm sorry, a filet. And you're not gonna slather the corn because then that's just gonna make it um, weak. You're just gonna kind of put like a dollop, okay? So, and you're gonna, um, dollop. dollop. I mean, dollop unless you're like us and you completely just put it all on there. Yeah. But you have to remember the um, tortilla is thin. Okay, that's that's a good amount. I'm going to put your structure. Okay, and you're gonna squeeze a little lime juice. Woo! Mom. Okay, a little bit. Mom. I like a lot. Um, and then you're going to, um, Squeeze. Tiny bit. Yep. Tiny bit. You just want some flavor. Okay. I have cilantro. I love cilantro. Um, I love parsley. Yeah. It, it's kind of like parsley. Yeah, absolutely. But and I'm not 
you know, I'm a terror. Um, terror and terror. Um, and you just sprinkle a little bit of that on, and Whoa. boom, shakalaka. Can I eat it? You can, you can. Eat it. Eat it. Okay, okay. isn't, isn't okay, the... Okay, wait, stop, stop. Before you touch anything, microphone's right there. Okay, microphone's right there. Okay, Logan, tell me what you think. I think the turkey is a little bit. It's, it's roasted. It's roasted just for you. Yeah? You don't believe me? <laughs> <laughs> What do you think? Does it take you home? Oddly it does, it did not think it was. <laughs> <laughs> and that is how you make... What did we make, Logan? I really don't care, I'm just hungry. Okay, thank you all. Thank you all. We hope you, that you enjoyed that. It was great to see you and um, join us for our next video because 2015 is the year of just do it. No more, oh, it's not perfect. Oh, you know, I haven't planned it. Just do it and get it up there and wild things will happen. Like, you know, um, you just put something up that came from your heart and the post goes viral. Kind of like that. Yeah, absolutely. So you guys take care. Bye. Mm -hmm.